Akai MPC-1, and the Roland SP-404 MK-2. So, you know, we're on the intro of using these together. If you watched my video yesterday, I made seven sequences. You can find it down in the description. Today is the workflow of how I turn those sequences into beats to later work on them in the SP-404. What's going on guys, it's your brother, Brother OTG, the OTG's for Overtime Grind. Hardly seen, but I'm always around. And today, I got my MPC-1, I got my 7 sequences from yesterday, I got my SP-404. I have the audio routed from my MPC into my SP-404. I have a MIDI from my MPC into my SP-404, so whenever I record, it automatically receives the BPM information. And, you know, I'm not going to talk a lot during this video so you guys can actually hear the sequences and how they turn into beats. Um, but if you look in the description, you can see the video I made yesterday, seven sequences in 30 minutes. And now we're going to turn those seven sequences into some sort of arrangements. I may make mistakes. I might not. I don't know. But this is the joy of doing it this way pretty fun you could do it live and you could do it a bunch of times until you get an arrangement you like all right like share subscribe comment it's your brother brother otg Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you check out the master classes. Um, make sure you check out uh, all the free resources that I have down in the description. Free screensavers for your SP, free drum kits, all kind of free stuff, all right? Follow me on all social media, 365OTG.
Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Check out the um, OTG Smackers kit. That's the drums that you hear playing in all of these sequences. It's down in the description. Check out your free drum kit. Check out the master class for both of these devices. These are my favorite two devices. And at the bottom, you can see the rolling peeking through. Um, these are my, my favorite three things that I like to use all the time in my standalone setup. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, check those things out. Follow me on all social media, 365OTG.
right now we're loading in we're recording in the last beat right here um the cool part about the sp so i made a bunch of little mistakes um you know normally what i would do is i would name all of the tracks so that way while i'm playing the mutes i actually know what i'm muting and not muting um but for the video purposes i just wanted to show you how this workflow works together so essentially i could have made all seven of those sequences and then turned right around and recorded them right into the sp plug in the mic and start recording or start doing different cool things with the effects um the other cool thing about the sp is that the compressor is really good so you could take your beat run it through the compressor and it'll bring out your beat to a whole another level i think i'll show you guys that in a couple minutes um but i'm not going to talk for the rest of the video make sure you like share subscribe comment make sure you check out the mpc1 master class the rolling sp404 master class each one comes with different levels where you can get sounds and a full library um of sounds that i offer at the top level, all of my courses come with lifetime updates. So you get lifetime updates on videos, the cheat sheet for the SP404, MPC1, any cool tricks, anything that I learned like that. All right, guys. So with that, like, share, subscribe, comment, follow me everywhere. Inshallah, you learned something. Now, let's listen back to some of our beats, play around with some of the effects. You know, I got to get better with the effects, but I really use the SP for its sampling and, and beat making capabilities. I'll get better on the effects sooner or later, sooner or later. It all takes practice. But again, it's your brother, Brother OTG. Thank you.